Okay, as I start this video off, there's a couple things I need to say real quick before we get started. Google 3D, the maker of DDU themselves, say DDU is meant to be used only if you are having a problem uninstalling or installing your display driver. They encourage you to uninstall your old driver through Windows uh, Add Remove programs if possible, uh, which is the next video I'm going to be making after this one. And I'll place a link to in the cards right up over here somewhere, uh, as well as in the video description as soon as I get it done. They do also say to use DDU when you're switching from one GPU manufacturer to another. Uh, meaning if you're switching from AMD to NVIDIA or vice versa, using DDU will completely remove your old driver, helping to eliminate any potential conflicts between your old and new driver. All right, with that stuff out of the way now, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open up our web browser and search for DDU Guru 3D. Or you can just use the link I've placed in the video description if typing that out feels like too much work for you. Since Guru 3D are the makers of DDU, we want to make sure that we download it directly from them and not from some other place where it could possibly be infected with malware or some kind of virus. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and choose the download mirror closest to you. For me, I want to choose US West Coast. And uh, then you should see this page telling you your download will begin in five seconds. Uh, once DDU has downloaded, we'll go to our download folder, uh, right click on the zip folder here and select extract all. We can now double click on this file here, which is another zipped file, and it will ask us where we want to extract it to. You can of course extract it wherever you'd like, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose the default location and click extract. Extracting the files will create a new folder with the same name as the zipped folder we just unpacked. Um, then we can double click on that folder and you'll see the DDU application file here. You could just go ahead and launch DDU now, but Guru 3D recommends that we first disconnect our computer from the internet and restart it into safe mode. To restart Windows into safe mode, we need to click on the Windows Start button, uh, go to Power, then hold Shift on our keyboard and click on Restart. Windows will tell us, please wait, and then you'll see this screen here. Click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and if you feel like taking the time to read this, you'll see using this option allows us to enable safe mode, uh, which is what we want to do. So let's click restart. Your computer will now restart. And at this screen, it tells us to press the number four on our keyboard to enter safe mode. This will restart the computer again and ask us for our password. Hopefully you remember what your password is. I've had to look mine up because I didn't remember what it was. Anyway, we are now here in safe mode. We can now go to our folder we downloaded DDU2 and run DDU. The first time you run it, it will pop up some information for you about using DDU and show you the options menu where you can choose what you want to remove and what you want to keep and whatever. I just leave everything on the defaults and then come to the main menu here. In this drop down over here on the right, we want to select GPU, and then in the drop down below that, we need to select the drivers we want to remove. I'm swapping out an RX 570 in this computer for a GTX 1060, so I want to uninstall the existing AMD drivers on this computer so I can then download and install the NVIDIA drivers. With our selections correctly made, we can then come over to the left side of the window to our different options here. I've already swapped in the GTX 1060, so I don't need to shut the computer down to change out my graphics card. And choosing the option that says not recommended just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So I'm going to choose the first option here to simply clean and restart. DDU will then go to work and remove the drivers for you, which takes a little less than 30 seconds, I think. And then your computer will restart. 
once you boot back into Windows, you're all set and ready to download and install your new graphics driver. And that, my friends, uh, is it. So this is probably when most of you will close this video and then move on to something else. But for those of you hanging around to the end of the video, I hope you found the video helpful and uh, that you enjoy your new graphics card. I I assuming that is what you're using DDU for, of course. Uh, please click the like button on your way out if you enjoyed the video. Uh, share it with your friends and family that might also find the video useful. Um, leave a comment if you uh, have a question or just want to chat about your day. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Um, there's And then there's that uh, bell icon thing. You can click that too if you feel like it. And if you're feeling especially generous and would like to take your support of the channel to the next level, uh, I've included the link to my Amazon store in the video description uh, where you can purchase cool products that I've featured in some of my uh, past videos. You're welcome to check those videos out first, too, uh, if you happen to be interested. Okay, that's it. I'm going to shut up and uh, get on out of here. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you in another video real soon. All right. Later.